Didn't you play Little League with Henry Walcott? In fifth grade, why? He's the CEO of the 14th largest software company in the world. You should call him. Are we really that hard up that you're resorting to elementary school yearbooks? I'm covering my bases. Emma? We are not hard up. I have just run into a tiny string of bad luck. How tiny? It was looking really promising with the Nobel Prize winner. We almost had him. And then? And then he found the oldest whale ever recorded off the coast of Finland. I mean, how can you compete with that? How old was the whale? That's not the point. The point is, I'm going to find someone. Today. Today is the day. Emma, I hate to be the voice of reason, but the benefit is days away. And you don't have a cause, you don't have a guest of honor, and you don't have a venue. You need to cancel. And I hate to be the voice of the rewind button, but that's what you always say. Something goes a little wrong, cancel the party. I get behind, cancel the party. The sun comes up, cancel the party. You are the textbook definition of a party pooper, and this time, I'm not gonna listen to you. Do you ever? Nope. Okay, I may have been projecting a little bit of positivity onto Alex because he cannot know how much trouble I'm in. We've sold tickets, got sponsors lined up, but it all falls apart unless we get the three big things we actually need to create a benefit. The venue, the celebrity guest, the cause. And now Jane Fairfax is coming to rub my nose into my failure with her perfect perfectness. Thank God for Harriet. Right now she is driving up to the Coles' ranch to stalk them into confirming a date. When Harriet says she's got something covered, She's got it covered. Besides, I am sure it's just a miscommunication. The Coles love us. They're a member of the Highbury group too. Why don't they love us? Is it because I backed out on them as a location for Annie's wedding? Okay, I need to stop panicking. I need to do what my inner peace for busy people audiobook tells me to do and open myself up to the universe. It's a last resort, but the only one I have. So, lifestyle excellence gods, if there is anyone out there who can help me, Please, let me know now. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Emma Woodhouse. I'm Frank Churchill. Uh, forgive me for just coming in, but there was nobody at the front desk. Oh, my assistant is out on an important errand, and I am Emma Woodhouse? Then you are the person I have to thank for saving my life. I think you need to have a seat and tell me how on earth I did that. Oh, interesting. Are you recording for posterity or nefarious purposes? Posterity? I don't have nefarious purposes. Well, one look at you and uh, how could you ever? If it makes you uncomfortable, I can turn it off. No, our auspicious meeting should definitely be recorded for posterity. Emma Woodhouse, your lovely reputation precedes you. It is a shame we never met before. So what brings you to town? Well, I finally got a break in my schedule long enough to spend some quality time with my stepbrother, Ryan. And the first thing I told him was I needed to meet the woman who covered for my egregious insult to his lovely bride. I was just trying to do what was best for Annie. Oh, I see that. But you also made me realize how rude I'd been. My ice fishing trip to Norway was really to court investors for one of the biggest deals of my career. And I figured Ryan would understand. But you didn't take Annie into account. Never again am I putting business before family. And I have you to thank for that. It was nothing. No. It really was everything. And if there's anything I can do for you. Oh, I can't think of anything right now. Unless you happen to enjoy charity benefits. God, no. They're terrible. Rubber chicken and board people. I know, but unfortunately they're part of my stock and trade. Really? You're working on one now? As we speak. Put on by Bates' Financial Services. Bates. Bates, that name is familiar. Is it Maddie Bates? It is! You know, I think I met her niece in London, uh, Jane something. Fairfax. That's it. My company does some work with her nonprofit. Jane's great. You must know her well then. Not at all. I just have the businessman's ability to remember names and faces. She really didn't strike me as anything special. So what's the cause for the benefit? It's renewable energy. Really? Did you know I attended the Renewable Energy Conference in Pune last month? I had no idea. So you support it? Support it. A number of my companies are big players in the renewable energy game. I think I remember Ryan saying something about that. You must take it very seriously. Oh, like a heart attack. If we don't take a stand against carbon emissions, there's no point in working for the future. There'd be no future to work towards? Exactly. You probably already have your speakers lined up, but if you need an extra speaker... It would be an honor to have you at our event, Mr. Churchill. Call me Frank. That you are. We should get some coffee and hash out the details. That sounds wonderful. Oh, but Harriet's out. Um, there's a place around the corner. We... No way. 
Not when I saw a French press out front and some great blends. Color me impressed. We take our coffee very seriously here. As you should. You can tell a lot about a person by the coffee they drink. And? Bold, strong, confident. You're talking about me or about you? Yes. I'll make coffee, gather the troops, Emma Woodhouse. This is gonna be the greatest benefit of our lives.